Hello everyone, our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole numbers. Here are the steps in problem solving. First is we're going to understand the problem. Next step is we're going to have a plan. Then we're going to carry out the plan or solve the problem. And the last step is we're going to check or look back whether our answer is correct or not. Here is our first problem. Jason is 160 centimeter tall and his sister Joanne is 7 8 as tall as him. How tall is Joanne? To solve our problem, we're going to understand, we're going to know what is asked in the problem. It is asking for the height of Joanne. What are the given facts? 160 centimeters, height of Jason. 7 8 as tall as Jason, Joanne's height. After we understand the problem, we know already what is asked, what are the given facts in the problem, then this time we're going to plan. What strategy can we use to solve the problem? We're going to think what operation will be used. In our problem, we're going to use multiplication. Then we're going to make or write a number sentence. Our number sentence is 7, 8 times 160 is equal to N. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan or we're going to solve. Multiply 7, 8 times 160 and it gives the result of 1,120. How do we get 1,120? We multiply 7 times 160 and the result is equal to 1,120 and just copy the denominator 8 to our product. And now we're going to divide 1,120 divided by 8. 1 divided by 8 cannot be. Take two digits. 11 divided by 8 is equal to 1. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. Then bring down 2. 32 divided by 8 is 4. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Then 32 minus 32, the answer is 0. Then just bring down 0. Okay, 0 divided by 8 is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. Then we don't have a remainder. So our answer is equal to 140. Another way of getting the answer is we're going to divide the whole number to the denominator. 160 divided by 8, the answer is equal to 20. Then multiply this quotient to the numerator 7. 20 times 7, the answer is equal to 140. Okay, we have the same answer in a different solution. So it's up to you what way you're going to use in solving this kind of problem. Therefore, Joan's height is 140 centimeters. To check whether our answer is correct or not, we're going to divide 140, divide by 160. Okay. They are both divisible by 10, so we're going to cancel zeros. Then we're going to reduce 14 over 16 to its lowest term. We're going to divide it by 2. 14 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 7. And 16 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 8. As we know that, Joanne's height is 7, 8 as tall as Jason's height. So we get the correct answer. 
Another problem that we're going to solve, in San Miguel Elementary School, there were 90 grade 5 and 6 pupils who participated in a clean-up drive program. If one-third of them are grade 6, how many were grade 5 pupils? To answer our problem, first is we're going to understand. We will know what is asked in the problem. In our problem, it is asking for the number of grade 5 pupils if one-third of 90 pupils were grade 6. And what are the given facts in the problem? 90, grade 5, and 6 pupils. One-third of them are grade 6. After we understand the problem, next we're going to have a plan. What strategy can we use to solve the problem? What operation to be used in the problem? In our problem, we're going to use multiplication and subtraction. Next one is we're going to write a number sentence. That is 90 minus 1 third times 90 is equal to n. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan or we're going to sort in our number sentence that is 90 minus 1 third times 90 is equal to n. We're going to solve first the numbers inside the parentheses. We're going to get what is 1 third of 90. We're going to use the reverse solution. Okay, divide 90 by 3. The answer is equal to 30. Then this quotient, we're going to multiply it to the numerator 1. And we get the answer of 30. So, 1 third of 90 is equal to 30. Then, we're going to copy 90 minus 30. And is equal to 60. Therefore, there were 60 grade 5 pupils. The last step is we're going to check whether our answer is correct or not. Okay, a while ago, we get one third of 90. The answer is equal to 30. Then if we subtract 90 minus 30, the answer is equal to 60. 30 for grade 6 pupils and 60 is for grade 5 pupils. All in all, there are 90 pupils from grades 5 and 6 who participated in the clean up drive. So, we get the correct answer.